Well, this has been going on for decades. This is not our. This is not our fight. Okay, right, yeah, this okay. is this is the fight we have we have been has been inherited from our fathers and our and our mothers and our grandfathers. It's not something that we started. We didn't start anything. We kept the conversation going. Um, systemic racism in this country has has been a problem since we were brought here as as slaves, and that's that's how deep it gets. And that's I think that's the bigger issue is. Um, Police brutality is a part of it, but it's also uh, the prison systems, the school systems, education, everything that entails what is systemic racism in this country and how it affects people moving forward. It affects people's uh, judgments, decisions. It affects people's uh, vantage points. And uh, that's why I think the conversation is, is so important. It's more important to create a healthy dialogue. It's easy to, for you to just sit here and say, shut up, you stupid uh, rather than saying, why do you feel like that? And if, and if you do feel like that, like, tell me, tell me more about it, you know? If, it, it's, it's just so easy to hate. If, if you really um, proclaim to be a true American, um, freedom runs, runs in our bloodline, right? It's supposed to. And so if somebody's telling you they don't feel like they're free, then why won't you listen to them if you're an American? Well, I don't think I'll see um, the change that uh, everybody would feel like where there, there's equality in my lifetime, um, but I think just moving forward, it's continuing the conversation. It's continued to continue to inspire other people to to understand that there is still a fight going on.